you can look at how to manage your sales process in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central in six easy steps. Step one, setting up your sales process. Uh, in this step, we will go to uh, sales process and configure various settings such as sales people, sales group, sales territories, and sales campaigns. Uh, you can do this by navigating to the sales and receivable setup page in Business Central. So we will go to this uh, search. We can simply type sales and receivables. And as you can see, we can set up all these configurations. Even if there is customer group and pricing groups, you can set up all of those. So the next step, step two, will be creating a sales code. To create a sales code, uh, we go to the sales codes page and we'll click the new button. So I will search here, sales codes. And I'll be clicking a new button here. Uh, we will enter the details of the customer, the products or services that are being sold and any applicable discounts or promotion. We can also add notes and attachments to the code. So uh, this is already set up to create the number. We can pick the customer. We can uh, pick our item, verify the due date, so we'll make it another week and request a delivery date. Pick all of those. We enter the quantity. You'll enter the quantity. And the line if you want to apply any discounts to this item. So that will be 10%, for example. So we verify all this information. We will also navigate to the invoice details, the currency. Uh, if you want to change the payment terms, for example, 30 days and all those information. Uh, we will also verify where we want to ship. And once we're ready, we can release the sales code. And now the sales code has been created. We can print it. We can attach it as a PDF, or we can just directly send an email from Business Central. Once that's completed, the next step would be converting the sales code to a sales order. Uh, assuming customer has agreed to the code, we can convert it to a sales order by simply clicking on the Create Order button. Uh, the sales order will be created and all the details from the code will be used. So we'll go to action, create, order, and make order. So note that sales code will be changed now into sales order. So sales order has been created and the page is now sales order. We have all the information here, we can verify and next logical step would be to make sure that we have the item in the inventory. If it needs to be manufactured, we can schedule and manufacture the item. Or if it's a resale item, it's already sitting in the inventory. Once the item is available in our inventory, then we're ready to create the sales invoice. In this case, uh, we will need to obviously first to deliver the product and that can be done all from this screen. Uh, first, we have to release this sales order. And now we can go to posting. We can do in steps. We can ship it first, invoice it next, or ship an invoice all at the same time. So in this case, that's what we're going to do. We're shipping and invoicing at the same time. And the system will generate an invoice for us. PSINV 103267 is the invoice number that has been done and it will be posted. So we can uh, open the 
posted invoice and this will simply uh, simply uh, finalize the creation of the sales invoice the next step would be applying the payment to the sales invoice so when the customer makes the payment we can apply it to the sales invoice by navigating to the pale to the apply sales payment page here you can select the invoice and the payment and apply the payment to the invoice okay to apply the payment to the sales invoice we will go to cash management and then to payment journal we'll choose cash receipts and payments we will uh, create a new one so here account type will be customer and the customer number and we can click process and apply entries we'll have a list of all the invoices we can sort it by date so this is the one that we did and we will apply to this document number which is g0408 make sure that this line is filled and we can see okay and the amount is automatically filled and all the accounts that will be posted now we can simply process and make sure that it's done now we can post it it was successfully posted so to put and the payment has been applied and next step will be uh, monitoring sales performance we can monitor our sales performance by reviewing various reports such as sales analysis by item sales analysis by customer and sales analysis by salesperson you can access these reports by navigating to the sales and receivable analysis page in the business central that's it now you know how to manage your sales process in microsoft dynamics 365 business central with these steps you can easily create sales codes convert them to sales orders create sales invoices and monitor your sales performance obviously you will be able to apply the payments when you receive them from your customer if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below